Hello, and welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Friday, April 3rd. Um, each day, I offer you a brief meditation as a way for us to stop uh, all the chaos that is happening around us for just a moment, um, to go off to a quiet place and take a breath, to breathe in the breath of life and to center ourselves again in God. So um, I've been working this week with um, encounters between Jesus and individuals. And today I'm thinking about Zacchaeus, who knows that Jesus is coming by, but he is a man that is short in stature. So he can't see over all the crowds that are trying to see Jesus. Um, and he runs ahead and climbs up in a sycamore tree so that he can uh, see Jesus. And when Jesus sees him up in the sycamore tree, Jesus invites himself to dinner, something that uh, you and I probably wouldn't do. I identify with Zacchaeus in the sense that uh, I'm not a real tall guy either, and I have trouble seeing over crowds from time to time. Uh, they have a good conversation over the meal, and in fact, the dinner is transformative in the life of Zacchaeus. So that's the story I'm thinking about and invite you to join me in um, meditating on that story for just a moment or two. So go off to that quiet place in your house if you're not already there. Um, close the door if you have a door and uh, sit down in the chair and get comfortable. Um, and close your eyes. Take a deep breath, and as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that would separate you from God. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. And imagine that God's Spirit comes to you like slipping into the warm water of a bath. And as you feel that water, as you slip into that tub, and you feel that water, it brings you peace and comfort and relaxation. And you know that that bath of warm water has been prepared for you with great love and care by God, our creator. So feel that water, feel it on your feet as you first step into that bath and allow that warmth and love to bring peace and relaxation and let the tension that is in your feet wash away. And then as you lower yourself into the bath, you can feel the water on your calves and your thighs and the tensions that you hold in those muscles drifts away and washes away because you're in a bath. <laughs> and then let that relaxation and that warmth spread to your hips and to your belly and your back. And imagine that that relaxation washes away and relieves all the tensions you're holding in all of those places in your body. Then slip down so that your shoulders and your arms and your hands all feel the warmth and care that comes from this nice warm bath. And then feel the warmth as you take some of that water and put it over your neck and the top of your head 
and your forehead and your jaw. You are washed in the warmth and love and peace of God, our creator. And in your mind's eye, imagine that you meet Jesus on the road. He picks you out of the crowd. Maybe you're up in that sycamore tree. And he calls your name. And he says, I'm going to dinner at your house tonight. So the two of you, you show him the way back to your house. And you're seated at a table. And there is a chance for a conversation now. What are the things that you will say to Jesus this day? And what are the things that Jesus has to say to you on this day? I'm going to give you a moment or two of quiet to um, have that conversation. If the times haven't been long enough in the past, if you've been watching every day, just hit pause. And then when you're ready, um, unpause it and uh, watch the rest of the video. So the time comes for the conversation to end. Do you say goodbye to Jesus in whatever way you need to do that, whatever way is appropriate? You can always come back to that conversation, you know. And then once you've done that, allow that image to fade away and bring yourself back to the room where you are. And when you are ready, open your eyes. Well, that's take a break, take a breath for Friday, April 3rd. Um, I don't know about you, but this was a day when I really needed to do this, not just for all of you, but for myself, it's been a very chaotic morning for me. And so to take a break and take a breath and to center myself once again in God was um, a helpful thing to do for me. Uh, I hope that the, it has been helpful for you. Um, if you have any feedback for me, send it to rick at prospectchurch.org. And there'll be another one again tomorrow.